Hey everyone, I'm making this video to explain how to review and calculate your own salary for permanent teachers. To start off with, I want to take a look at collective agreement language, where it states 3.846% of grid salary is paid out on the second Tuesday after school starts, minus deductions obviously. 25 additional payments of that percentage of grid salary will be paid starting on the fourth Tuesday of September. And if a pay date falls on a holiday, then the deposit will occur on the day before. So for example, if January 1st is a Tuesday, then December 31st, the Monday, will be the date that your salary will be deposited, which we know can be problematic because it makes the previous year, that December 31st calendar year, will have 27 pay periods and the following year will have 25, which has implications for taxes. I'll give a couple of example calculations here for those who are maxed out on the grid, and I'm going to say any more than 12 years of experience and level A4, you're going to take a look at this box on the bottom right of the grid, where $102,965 would be your grid salary. And you remain at that step from August to September, there is no raise. And again, this is the September 1st, 2021 grid, which is the most accurate one we have because we did not sign an agreement starting September the 1st of 2022. We do not have a grid increase yet. To calculate your salary, and if you want to take a look at your pay stub, you can see under earnings, under description where it says regular salary, you'll see a current value. How do you get that value? Well, you take the grid number and you divide it by 26. That's it. The collective agreement states that it's 3.846%. Uh, but as you can see, if you multiply the max number on the grid by that percentage, you get this number, right? 3,960.03. In actuality, what's deposited is um, slightly higher, 16 cents higher. And that's because the fraction one over 26 gives you the more accurate number, whereas the percentage is just a rounded number. Even to three points, it's still not perfectly accurate. So that's how you would calculate your salary if you were maxed out on the grid. Anyone who is not maxed out on the grid is going to have a, a different number than the 103,000 in the bottom corner. I'll use a different example. If you were at A3 step four in August of 2022, then your starting salary for this calculation would have been $66,986, which I've highlighted in pink. Moving to September of 2022, you move an additional step on the grid. So from step four to step five, one full year of experience will move you one full step, which means that you would use the 70,402 to calculate your biweekly payment. For those who are uh, taking AQ courses, for example, that's another variable that might adjust how you calculate your salary. If you took an AQ course anywhere between January the 1st to August the 31st of 2022, then September of 2022, that's this upcoming pay period, you will have an adjustment not only for an additional step, but also for a level. And so you go from category A4, A3 to A4, in addition to an additional step on the grid. If you were already maxed out at 13, 15, or 25 years, for example, at A3, and you took an AQ that adjusted you from A3 to A4, then you would have gone from about 96,500 to almost 103. For that reason, it is incredibly important that you report to the board as soon as possible if you take an AQ course that adjusts your Quaco rating. If you're already at A4 and you're already at max, the only way to change would be to get a master's degree or if we have a centrally bargained raise, which is a percentage applied to all cells on the grid. The last raise we got was 1%, and that happened between September 1st of 2020 to September 1st of 2021. If you have any other questions as a permanent teacher, you may reach out uh, if you can't figure out how to use this particular document to calculate and compare what you were earning in August to what you're going to be getting this upcoming September pay period.